hello guys <clears throat> welcome to this video we're going to be talking about the top five visual studio code extensions i'm going to suggest for any novice developer out there someone asks what's visual studio code it's actually a code editor that helps programmers develop cool web apps mobile apps cross-platform apps and so on and so forth so these extensions will enhance your coding experience and also boost your productivity by providing you with helpful tools and features. From debugging to code formatting, this extension got you covered. So without further ado, let's dive into the list and see how these extensions can help you code more efficiently. So when you open your VS Code, you come to this tab here, which is the extensions tab, and you search for what you want. As you can see, I have installed almost 100 and something extensions, yeah, 134 in my own Visual Studio code. So on top of the list here is tab nine. As you can see, I love tab nine so much. Why? Because it helps me to complete some of my functions and also suggest some dummy text for me, which helps me save time while coding. And it also supports JavaScript, Python, Java, TypeScript, and all lot of other languages. For example, this is a new file that I have. I just saved it, tests.js. And let me say, let me call it React, uh, a template here. I'm just going to type RFAC. It's going to bring me uh, a snippet, React Arrow Function Export Component. As you can see, I already have a component. So let's say I want to code uh, something like a function. Let me, let me go for a function. But I'm writing, let me say I want to create uh, a function, a variable for, to say, a state variable to store <coughs> the name. It's, after doing the first one, it's gonna help me bring out all other things I need. So let me say use states. And the default value will be a string. So H. I don't know. It's not yet giving me the suggestion I'm expecting. But trust me, this tool is going to save you a lot of time. Maybe due to my system setup, but I'm sure if I'm using a Mac, it's going to be way faster. Set page. I don't know why it's not giving me. Okay, yeah, as you can see, it just helped me complete. Okay, let me put, uh, you see, gender. You see, this one I'm talking of, like it's already highlighting the um, suggestion it's giving me. Let's say if I have a gender in my drop down or form, I just put it and it suggests that to me. Let's say I want to give another, you see, it's already, now it's suggesting name. I just want to keep playing around with this so that you see how useful this tab nine tool is. Okay, now it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's misbehaving, but no problem. That is all for tab nine. You can go and read more on the documentation page. As you can see, this is how it helps even in typing a, uh, comments and so many things. See how fast it helps developers to hasten time they use to code. So um, second on my list is Prettier. Prettier is basically a code formatter. Prettier helps you to format code to make it look very beautiful. OK, let's say, for example, let's go back to this, my test code. And I'm going to delete or uh, this duplicate uh, variables so that it will be able to format it well. Uh -huh. Let's say I move this out of shape. I move a lot of things out of shape here. And uh, I control A on Windows and I hold Shift, Alt, Alternate, and F. I press the F key. As you can see, Peter formats everything very neat confirming to the standard mode of aligning your codes. So that's basically what Prettier does. 
So next on the list is MGML. MGML. Why I love this is that it helps me write email previews. Like, like let me say I can use an MGML snippet to create uh, an email template to basically how it's going to look on the on the mobile devices or laptop or on the user side whenever i send email snippets to their emails for example this is an mgml file and let me say i don't want to waste so much time on this video i'm going to open the templates and select one among their templates let me say a newsletter it's going to populate this page with newsletter uh, formats for of email. So I also want to preview this. I'll show all commands, MGL, open preview to the side. As you can see, this is basically how it's going to look on the user's email. Let's say I want to change something here. I'm going to see, okay, here, they wrote here. I'm going to write 2023. See, 2023 is what you missed. So once I'm done, I'm just going to convert it straight to HTML. Export HTML. Okay, as you can see, it's giving me the name of the file. File says that's test.html. So I want to see, view this file for you to see how everything has been converted. So let me open the file. It's basically going to be on my desktop. Yep. As you can see, it has converted everything down to HTML. Yeah, and it's going to get rid of all the white spaces. So basically, if there's any dynamic message I want to uh, show to the user, I just come look for the place where it is and change it to the variable. So next on the list is React Snippet. Let's go back to the extension tab. I'm, I'm putting React Snippet for all the developers that I use to React. Depending on the kind of programming language or tech stack you're used to, you can just come over to this search bar and search the particular keyword for that tech stack or maybe add snippet to it. Maybe PHP snippet, HTML snippet. You're going to see a whole bunch of uh, extensions that's going to help you code faster. Nobody wants to be wasting a lot of time on busy, easy things that you know, AI, AIs are coming nowadays to help us do faster. So why not just attach a snippet to your Visual Studio Code and power it up to be able to make you behave more faster. Remember, it's people that know how to use AIs are going to outsmart you or outbest you when it comes to any competition. So basically, as you can see, this is, bas is basically what the React Snippets does. I don't, I don't have this installed. But it's kind of nice. It's just showing you an overview of what it does. So it helps you complete a lot of code. Okay, let's say, let me go back to this, my React. Let's say I want to import MUI. Or even without, uh, even without uh, um, typing it on the import section, I'm just going to type MUI here, maybe an MUI tab button. So I'm gonna hold control and press space. It's gonna suggest for me. Or I'm just gonna type MUI. Let it type. Okay. Sorry about this. I didn't install, I didn't create a project folder and MUI is yet to be installed. But what's my point? It helps you bring a lot of code snippets. Any, any, any snippet, any programming language you add before this snippet keyword and search the extension search bar is going to bring out all the extensions that's needed 
for your Visual Studio Code to help you type smarter, code smarter, and do everything you want to do faster. Mind you, why you're not seeing the suggestion from MUI here is because I have, I'm yet to create a folder here, a project folder, and install the dependency. So that's why it's not bringing up the suggestion. But basically, you're just going to look for snippets. It's going to save you a whole lot of time. So, okay, for example, let me put Bootstrap. Bootstrap snippet is also one of the extension I love. It helps me to complete so many hard codes on Bootstrap without even stressing my brain. I don't even go to read any documentation. I do I basically do everything within my Visual Studio code. Okay, as you can see, this is Bootstrap 4. I don't even have it and even install it. So it it's helps brings up a lot of snippets for you. You know, maybe it's the EP tags, what a bow tag, whatever tag you want to do. This is just going to bring you all the snippets. Okay. As you can see, let's just do a test run down here. Top four. Um, where I saw it in the demo page. Yep. You see, it just brought up a basic template for bootstrap using HTML. What else? What, what else? What, what other extension would I suggest to you? Basically, I'm used to JavaScript. This is going to the, the I think this is the fifth. I'm going to type JavaScript extension. Yep, remove one C. Part of my system is load time. Okay. As you can see, I have this installed. All the snippets, including the final semicolon. This save you a lot of mistake when you type in a JavaScript. If you make any mistake, let's say, let me come to this function here now. I'll come to, let me put this. Uh, yep. And, uh, so let me come to this function here. And let's say I'm, I'm making a mistake. Console dot. Okay. Let's say I make a mistake and I just put semicolon and add, add a few wrong snippets. As you can see, it's already giving me a suggestion. When I hover over it, you're going to see the expression expected. Basically, it's kind of, it's, it doesn't actually get the error to the, to the point of correcting you to tell you exactly where and what you should fix but it's going to highlight to you immediately it sees an error so basically these are the five basic extension i would suggest to any novice developer out there let's take a rundown tab nine which is number one number two is prettier number three is mjml number four are all the snippets you need Basically, number four and five are kind of linked together. React snippets, JavaScript snippets, Bootstrap snippets. All these are just snippets from four to six. They're all snippets that you can use to make your code a whole lot faster. So like I said, if React is not a programming language, you can add PHP snippets, React Native snippets, Dart snippets. Trust me, Visual Code extension database has a whole lot of extension to cover up for whatever need you want in your coding journey. So thank you once again, and please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also click the notification button because just keep yourself up and running with my notification update because I'm just going to update you basically periodically with whatever I learn and whatever update I feel is needed to be put out there. Thank you very much and have a nice day.